local recording started for for Kirby. Uh, nope, that's the wrong thing. There we go. All right, all right, here we go. Kirby time. Kirby time. I also should set this to high priority. Get my mouse out of the way as well. Uh, all right, make sure everything. Why is everything not good on OBS right now? There we go. Uh, and then set this to high priority. The task manager. Set priority. High. Change priority. There we go. Hey, I made it. I usually check around eight. So the the uh, so what stream before robot just happened? Oh, I just played the uh, I just played the Anton. Let me turn this up for me. Everything should be good now. Screen, I think everything should be capturing. Uh, I did. I played the Anton Ball. Uh, not the Anton, not Anton Ball. Anton Blast demo. Just because I, I know I said I'd already played it. But I, uh... I've meant wrong button. I'm used to the Anton Blast controls now. Uh, but I haven't seen a lot of YouTube videos or anything about it, really. And I was like, you know what? I know I don't get a lot of viewers, but let's, uh... I'm I'm gonna show off this game because it's a good fucking video game. It'll I'll it'll be uploaded later, and obviously you can check the VOD as well. It's pretty good though. Now this is the world where this game the story starts actually kicking in. Cause by this is where you this is the world where you get introduced to Susie. I will take that. Uh but how's everyone doing so far? I couldn't really talk during Anton Blast because I had to go fast, man. I had to beat my personal best, but then I fucked up and died. Fuck you. Uh, nothing's much been going on with me. I mean, uh, like once again, I don't do much on a day-to-day -day basis. I keep staying up way too late. My I used to go to sleep at 1 a.m. and now I'm going to bed at like 2:30. I'm doing great good. Kirby Robo Blast 2, baby. Kirby Robo Blast 2, baby. Yo, when they put in Sonic and Anton Blast. Uh, like that. And I think it's because I'm, the reason I'm staying up so late is, is it just, like, do you guys, I know, like, past nine, there's actually a, some fucking shit that happens with your brain chemistry that uh, makes you, like, this isn't a bit, this is real, that, like, makes you more methodical or something like i don't know the correct would be word usage but it's real and i think that's when like inspiration hits me to draw and shit so i'm like oh 130 i want to draw yoshi <laughs> and then i go and draw yoshi i've been feeling like shit today now i gotta do secret ring stream why don't you you don't have to do a secret ring stream my man you can chill out and just relax i'm still in like anton ball deluxe mode right now and i'm like uh, my brain is going a million miles a minute i need to I need to take a deep breath and drink some of my Wawa. Mm. I've been drinking a lot of water lately. I think my diet's kind of been better in general lately. I've been feeling like shit today now. Oh yeah, I already, I already read that. Uh, I haven't been having as much shit. I, I've been snacking. I've still been having like a lot of salty snacks, but like my... I've been having too much like shitty sugar as of late. Yeah, I do. I put it off for last week. When I start to get into it flow, it's better, though. Mm -mm. Yo, this dude's from Dreamland 2 and 3. I like Dreamland 2 and 3, but, uh... Completing those games is, I would say, maybe worse even than Kirby 64. Well, I, I should say, it's not like it's horrible to complete Kirby 64, but you know how it can be. You know, it could be a little obtuse. Kirby's Dreamland 3 and 2 can really be obtuse. I think Dreamland 2 is worse in that minor. I've never completed Dreamland 2, actually. I've completed Dreamland 3 and 64, but I've never... Because I've never really had the... I mean, I can do, I guess I could do that on the Dream Collection one day, but... For me, it's 8.30. Uh, well, I don't know your time zone, but from what I heard you talk about, I may be two or three hours ahead. For me, it's 8.30. Yeah, I... I'm, it's 5.30 for me, baby. I get central, central time. So that means when a video game comes out for a midnight release, I can play it at 9 p.m. and not be tired or have to worry about work or school the next day. There we go. Oh, is this the... Oh, do we get... Is this the level we first get the... We get the wheelie... The wheelie robobot machine? You think that would come first before the... Before the flying one? There we go. Code cube. I didn't even know a code cube was there. Thank God. 
Yo, look at the cappy. Why did that? Why? I'm sorry if I'm talking real fast. I think I've my mind. Anton Bob Deluxe fucking got me. Got me like in a in a like I it was like 500 doses of caffeine that game. That, Jesus Christ. I need to slow down. Uh, why did they choose cappies for for like the town and right and right back at you? That was always weird to me. Like why cap? Why not like anything else? Why not waddle these? If the movie was made, I mean, sorry. If the show was made now, it'd totally be waddled these. Mm, bum -dum. Is this not breakable? But yeah, I don't know. It's like yeah, I get inspired. Like I get inspired late, late at night, and it kind of sucks because, like I said, then I'm like, I don't know. And then by the time I'm like, I'm drawn, it's like two thirty. I'm like, man, I I want to keep drawing, but it's I should probably go to fucking sleep. You know what I mean? I felt pretty good about that Yoshi drawing I did recently where I drew, like, other dinosaurs that look like Yoshi. I, I like that. That came out pretty good. That's one that was actually in the pipeline for a bit, and I forgot about it. That happens a lot. Every once in a while, I'll have a drawing or a sketch that I save, and I'm just like, man, I totally forgot this was even here. Uh, it's so strange sometimes to think uh, that you... When you're having lunch, someone could be sleeping, and you're sleeping, someone's snacking on food, a bright sun... Yeah, I know, man. Kind of crazy. Especially when you have, like, some friends that, like, live in other countries. Like, Michael, you know, he's in Ireland, and then uh, when it's 10 a.m. for me, it's like, what, 3 p.m. for him? It's kind of fucked up, man. It's kind of weird. I don't like it. But like I said, I'm, I'm happy with the coast I get, because like I said, I can play video games. It releases at 9, baby. There we go. Is that, is that cannon get destroyed? No, I guess you just couldn't go back down, maybe. Fuck you, squid. Something I never noticed about this level that it was that I got. Oh, how's the volume for Kirby, by the way? I think it should be fine. I didn't mess with anything. With Anton Ball, I kind of messed with the actual in-game setting. Uh, but this whole world is in a giant bathtub or like a sink. There we go. Oh, there's the cube. Cube. I need that for completion. For 100% completion. Fuck you. What are these things called? These things have been in Kirby forever, and I don't know what they're called. Oh, right here. Ow. I'll take that. I'm sorry for all those flat earthers, but how would that make sense? I don't... Man, I... That... Those people, like... It's kind of... It's kind of weird, because, like... It's... You want to laugh at it, and you want to make fun... Like... And when you see it, it's funny, right? Like, we all haha make fun of it, but then it's like... Yo, these people are also, like, bringing kids to Flat Earth conventions and shit, and it's like... Uh, I genuinely think that's one of the worst things about modern society, is just, like, how much fucking false information there is. You know what I mean? Just, like, how many people could just not believe in facts, or just totally make shit up, you know what I mean? I feel like that's one of the worst things about mod modern society. Flat Earthers listening to Daft Punk. They don't like around the world. They think it's flat. True. Yo, where's the... Also, you know... Like, okay, say hypothetically the world was flat. Wouldn't we... Would we not be able to, like... The only reason there is a horizon is because the Earth is round, right? If the Earth was flat, wouldn't we be able to see forever? Or is that, like, dumb to say? God damn it. Because we could see stars that are trillions of light years away. So... I guess that's because they're all so bright, though. But I don't know. I guess things still get small. And just, I don't know, that... You know what was... Speaking of, like, conspiracy theories, you know what was a good show? And, like, when I say this, it, it's in, like, the most complimentary way possible. Uh, what was it called? I already forgot what the show was called. What the fuck was the show called? It's the new one on Netflix. It's the funny conspiracy show. Yeah, uh... uh Inside Job. How did I forget the name already? Like, so fast. Inside Job is like a diet Rick and Morty, but in, like, the best way possible. It, I don't know. It, there's something about it. It's... Because, it, like, Rick and Morty can be too much at times, but Inside Job is like, oh, this is like a... It feels almost kind of like a mix of Futurama and Rick and Morty to where... I don't know. It's a bit more endearing than Rick and Morty is. It can be at times. Also, like, perspective has nothing to do with Horizon. Next generation is gonna believe lies because their parents gonna be like, sorry to break the news, but the Earth is flat and everyone is lying about the sphere. I know, man, I know. 
I saw a funny tweet. There's a, I think there was a Twitter account at one point that was um that was like a flat earth Twitter account and like they showed his school books and they were like T say uh talk about the first time they lied to you or whatever it was and I thought it was so fucking funny. I feel like a lot of flat like I f remember that when that was a bigger thing. I feel like 2 3 years ago that was like a big uh, you know that was a whole big thing that was going on. Flat Earthers were really coming out of the woodwork. Oh, here we go. This is the cool shit. I got the good sticker. I gotta hold the button for this. In this, you could jump in the background. Ba -da 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 -da. I keep forgetting to do cur the Kirby hurdle, and I, like, miss a day, and I'm like, God damn it. I can get it most days, though. I fucked up yesterday. I think it was, um... What was it? What did I- what was it yesterday that I fucked up? I don't even remember what the song it was, but there have been a couple times. Anything from, like, Mass Attack, I always don't know what it is, because it's like... I, I- I haven't really played a lot of Mass Attack. Kirby driving crazy. Yo, my boy got a license? You know it's a thing people bring up a lot that I think is interesting? And you turn this down, I feel like I'm talking super loud. That I think is interesting, and I would like maybe the games to kind of talk about it more, is how... DDD is like an engineer. This man has made like giant robot versions of himself at least th on three separate occasions. You know what I mean? Oh, this is okay. This is a one short. Like he's got the one from Dream Course. He's got the one from Return to Dreamland that was going to be in the canceled GameCube game, which I guess technically isn't his because it's on Helcandra or whatever. And then there's the, the one from Kirby Battle Royale. Yeah, well, now it's unfortunately worse than just Earth is Flat. Many uh, homophobes and tramphobes also cry out of the woodwork. I don't know. I, I don't know. See this being Temple Run Subway Racing Games car Kirby driving till it stopped. I feel like I hope they do. Like, I, I, we were I was talking about it yesterday, but I, I, I would like them to do more spin off. Well, a problem with Kirby spin offs lately is they've been all like. You know, they've been. They've all been like, uh eShop like little things that haven't aren't super in-depth or interesting i hope we get back to the days of like air ride and, and epic yarn and shit you know what i mean this is a short fucking level uh-oh every time it does that I, I freak the fuck out this is a cool mechanic i love this this is like some fucking paper mario battle shit I do wonder what they'll do for, like, the next theme in Kirby. I'm just telling you, I think a grim fairy tale aesthetic would be cool. Like, maybe use the same engine as Forgotten Land, but add, like, a new art style to it. Maybe everything make everything look like watercolor, almost akin to Dreamland 3 or Yoshi's Island. Speaking of Yoshi's Island, that's another thing I have on my list to talk about today. I wish... Because I was drawing that Yoshi thing the other day. Uh, but I... Man, it's so sad, like, the best Yoshi game is the first one. Not that all the other ones are bad, but... None of them reach the heights that original Yoshi's Island Super Nintendo does. Yoshi's Island DS is pretty good. Woolly World's okay. Crafted World is meh. I don't know. I, I, can, I commend it for literally coming up with a new mechanic every level. But then I feel like that sort of... Fuck, you know, I don't know, stunts it. Because, you know, normal video game level structure is... First, okay, like, three batch levels. First level, introduce the concept. Second level, get a little more complicated. Third, it's the it's what all of what you've learned with this concept. You know what I mean? Yoshi's Crappy World? Pikmin was pretty crazy. I played it before and I found out of Yellow Pikmin being a Pope and I thought it would be so funny. What are you talking about? That is pretty funny. I think Yellow Pikmin... I think Yellow Pik... I don't know. All the Pikmin, all the Pikmin designs are good. Is this the level we finally get a uh, factory theme from Kirby 64? Yo, this is cool. Remember how in Star Allies, the description for Susie when you play as her is like she's continuing her father's work of mechanizing planets? But that's wrong! In the Jap... Is it? What is this? I can't hear it. No, it's not. Bauk, this is just like Return to Dreamland shit. Uh, But, um... What was I talking about? I f literally forgot what I was talking about. Holy shit. <laughs> I need... I, something is wrong with me, genuinely. I, I'd say this every stream, but it, it's because it happens every stream, man. 
the mobile Pikmin game. I never, I never played that. I, I don't know. I, even though I'm a big Pikmin head, I don't know. I never really bought Hey Pikmin either. Like I said, I played the demo of Hey Pikmin, but I never really got it. But, oh yes, in the in the Japanese version, Susie's description says she is now helping like startup companies. But in the American English translation, they fucked up and they said she's still doing evil shit. Uh, triple star, no triple star, triple star. Fuck you. I can't wait till we get to the post game of this game because that's really where this game starts fucking. That's oh no, well there goes poison. This is where the the game really gets it gets bumping. I'd say even actually after after this world is when the game really gets bumping. Thank God. I think about it every... I think about it... A, not every day, but I think about it a lot. Just like... Man, Pyrobit really just is the worst boss in Kirby, isn't he? That fucking frog. So if you don't know, in Tr Kirby Triple Deluxe, there's a... No star. I don't get that this time. In Kirby Triple Deluxe, there's a... There's a boss called Pyrobit who's a frog... Like a fire frog. And he just jumps around into the foreground, into the background, into the foreground. And it's the most annoying shit ever. And they have brought him back in, like, some of the spinoffs. And it's like, God, please don't have me fight this motherfucker again. I hate him. He's legitimately the... It's so bad. I don't think there's any Kirby boss worse. Though, once again, I haven't really played a lot of Mass Attack or a lot of Amazing Mirror. But one day... I don't, I've never even completed uh, Epic Yarn. I've gotten pretty far in Epic Yarn, but... Uh, I should put that on the stream wheel one day. I think that'll be the next Kirby game I put on the stream wheel. I think that'll be good. I'll probably play... I don't... I, I need to get a sensor bar working for, like, my PC for that, though. Because there are a few powers. Oh, I forgot you get a you get a thing for Psychic. Is there any other... Or is it just one? Psy Storm. So, up and beat... That's what- yeah, there we go. That's the good shit. I look like a stag beetle. Froggy. Froggy! Yo, Big the Cat gets a bad rap. My man, Big the Cat, is cool. People who don't like Big are just fucking mean. I think Big's great. He's big, he's funny, he's cute. Because I think in the Japanese- that's another case of, like, in, in the Japanese version of the- In the American version of the game, he's presented like a, you know, kind of a little bit- Maybe a bit of a harmful stereotype and... Bit of a harmful stereotype and shit. But, uh... But in, um... But in the Japanese version, he's kind of more of, like, a hick. And I don't know, it kind of makes me sad, because I like Big a lot as a character. What do I... What? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see... That's the wrong button. I heard the new Chip and Dale movie came out and said the trailer was okay, I guess. I like Japanese Big. He's trying to fish, true. That Chip and Dale movie, I don't even know what to think about that fucking Chip and Dale movie. It's not... It is not Roger Rabbit 2. As much as I think a lot of people wish... Man, I do think a Roger Rabbit-esque movie could still work in the modern era. I think, much like Roger Rabbit, though, you kind of have to make up a new cartoon character because that's how what made it work was that roger rabbit was like a totally new thing created for the movie like he wasn't an existing cartoon character and it kind of helped ground it a little bit so you're not like what the fuck mickey mouse doing this mickey mouse drinking booze or something you know what i mean yeah that's that's in the foreground Wait a minute. I'm scared. I'm scared I'm gonna fuck this up. That's like in the way foreground. Okay. Okay, I, w I was I was afraid I didn't want to lose this chest. This is the second cube. Cube! I can go on and on about how many TV show characters there were, bro. There was too many cameos. Ugly Sonic. Yeah, fucking Ugly Sonic appears. It's pretty good. I don't know, I, it's, it's kind of like... I'm glad some of the Disney TV characters appear there, though. I know Linda, fucking from Phineas and Ferb, you know, their mom is in that shit. Man, d there should be a Kingdom Hearts spinoff where they're, where it's all like the Disney TV universes. And Bill Cipher is the final boss, because who else would you have be like the final boss of the Disney... Yeah, I guess Negaduck. 
Negaduck could work pretty w well. There we go. I'll stick with fire, I think. I'm good with fire. It's so sad they never got to use Negaduck in the 2017 reboot because it got cancelled. I don't know. I, I, I get why they didn't use him in that Darkwing Duck episode because it was like, oh, we need to establish Darkwing Duck a little bit more and then we'll have the villain come in and it's like, oh my god, what the fuck? Who Duck? You know what? It, that, that's his name. You know, uh, don't do not do this to me right now. You know what I'm... Uh, you know what word I'm saying. I thought it was cool that John Mulaney played Chip. It's also... You know what's dumb is that there are 2D characters in that movie that are like, you know, Roger Rabbit style 2D with live action. But then, I don't know which one it is. Chip? I think Chip's the one that's supposed to be a 2D animated, but it's like a... Like... A two cartoon shader on like a 3D model or some dumb shit like that. And it's like, why? Why not just make him a 2D character? I don't understand. You know what else looks, is, looks fucking disappointing? Is She-Hulk. They are cowards for not just making her a giant buff woman. What's wrong? Come on. Like, apparently they were. She was originally a like a bigger, beefier character. But then, oh, people of the sky... That's literally their... I thought they actually had a name. All right. Uh, oh, Fire Lion. He should have been in fucking Forgotten Land. Anyways. Oh, Kirby 64 Water League. I'm sorry. But originally she was going to be a big, large woman. But then they... But then they... Disney kept being, no, make her smaller. And it's like, bro, what the... Sh give me an ogre. I want an orc woman. Come on. Can't you just do this, please? Please? Come on. Orc woman? It's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. The ones, like, especially because, like, Hulk was a... Ow. Hulk was a character that was done really dirty in the MCU. I love how Hulk is, is in the MCU. And, like, I get that he's Professor Hulk now, but I think he'd still do some, some interesting stuff. Was I talking about how I saw a comic panel the other day? I think I did talk about this already. Never mind. So I, I think I was talking about Hulk on another stream. This is a cool fucking level, by the way. This makes me... You know what this reminds me of, and no one's gonna understand what I'm talking about here? It, it This is reminds me of the Cat in the Hat PS2 video game. Because there's that one level that's all candy. I don't think anyone knows what I'm fucking talking about, but I played that shit a bunch when I was a wee lad. When I was a wee boy. Like that. Get out of here. Get out of here! Uh, the only cool scene was classic Scrooge McDuck swimming in money. Plus, I also heard Darkwing Duck was in there. I like Darkwing Duck. I really like that new Darkwing Duck as well. Whoever they got, like, because that... Whoever they was the voice of the new Darkwing Duck in the 2017 reboot was like, wow, this is so close to Jim Cummings, it's, like, almost unbelievable. Jim Cummings is great, man. He's got to be one of my favorite voice actors that exists, you know what I mean? He's just so good. It's going to be... It'll be a sad day when Jim Cummings is no longer voice acting. You know what I mean? He's been Dr. Robotnik, he's been Lord Boxman, he's been fucking the master from Fallout, the original first Fallout game. He's been, he's been so many, so many good characters. Darkwing Duck, Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Pete, uh, who else has he been? I said Dr. Robotnik, right? He was Dr. Robotnik. Have I missed the cube? I feel like I missed the cube and I'm, my brain is bad. Bum bum ba da bum bum ba da na 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 so good they made they gave this a uh, new remix for like the final fight in forgotten land i don't remember darkwing duck in it launch pattern dipper pines is though mm, good like i said i think could you like could you imagine a kingdom hearts spinoff that's the disney tv show universe i think that'd be sick i think that i'd buy that i'd buy i don't care about like a lot you know i like the you know the disney movies and whatever but if you gave me like a disney i'd buy that in a heartbeat I want to see Dipper Pines. I want to see fucking Phineas and Doctor Doofenshmirtz is like a as like a boss, and you make friends with him. Fucking who? What else? Like I said, you know, you get Ducktales characters. You can get. I guess that'd be a little. I know, but those are that's you have Scrooge McDuck and shit in the in the games already. But you can. I think you still fit like all the Saturday morning cartoon shit in there. I don't know. It'd be good, man. It'd be good. Get Jake Long. You get all your favorites. Uh, also, he was a Brotnik twice at AM and... Oh, yeah, he was the, in the pilot. Dewey versus Phineas moment. 
Jim Cummings go, uh, goes to greet children in the hospital. Will he comfort them with poo or scare the shit out of them with Robotnik? I don't know, either one. Remember the fucking Tigger movie? That movie is... Why did they go so hard with that? Why did they go so hard for like a... Let me double check that I'm recording real quick because I'm paranoid. Yes, I am. I am, I am, I am. Okay. Sorry, I had to just make sure. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Why'd they go so hard with that movie? Like, they gave Tigger a fucking... Like, a thoughtful backstory and shit, and, like, his own turmoil, and, and it's like, what the fuck? They did not need to go this hard. The who movie? The Tigger movie! You know, the Tigger... I don't... Okay, come on. T-I double go... I can't do a Tigger voice. Hey, Pooh. Hey, Pooh boy. That's how he go He's like... Hey, Pooh boy. That's how he goes. That's what he says. I love Tigger. He's my favorite. Tigger was always my favorite. That Christopher, like, Robin live-action Winnie the Pooh movie also wasn't that terrible. I think because there was something about it. It was different from, like, first of all, it wasn't, like, a remake. So it wasn't a live-action remake. But something about it felt just fun. Like, it had the spirit. Like, it was it was saying a message, you know? It wasn't just, like, a cash grab like the live-action Jungle Book or Lion King. I de definitely recommend watching it if you know. Because also, I feel like... I don't think there's anybody... Like, there are people that hate Mickey Mouse. I don't think anybody hates Winnie the Pooh. Tigger doesn't need a movie. Movie. He has one, brother. No, I'm saying there already is one. And it's, like, all about... You know how his song is like, And the wonderful thing about Tigger is I'm the only one. I'm the only one. That's literally what the movie is about. How he's, like, having an identity... Like, not an identity crisis, but he's, like, going through depression because he's the only Tigger that exists. And he's trying to find his fucking family. That's real. This is a real movie. There's that and then there was the Heffalump movie. Which was also pretty good. Where Rue meets a Heffalump. In both those movies, Rue is like a super good fucking character. I like Rue. Okay, here we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. We're good. We're good. There we go. I like this bit. This is a. This is basically a sequel to the bit in Return to Dreamland, where you do the same thing but with snowmen. Thank you, my good sir. Good on that. There we go. There we go. I'm a Donald guy, not a Mickey fan. I feel like everyone's because well, they don't. It's because they don't even fucking use. A Mickey in anything. It, it's this weird, like... That's what. That's why I, I'm always so worried when they never let Mario do anything weird. Because, like, you don't want it to be like Mickey Mouse, where, like... They don't even have you f do anything with the character. Like, the best thing Mickey is in right now is those, like, shorts they have on Disney Plus and shit. There we go. Right, is those Paul Rudis shorts. Or the three... Me... There we go. There we go. All right. You're coming with me. Got it. That was close. Become real. There we go. Uh, that's a good movie. The Three Mouseketeers movie. That's also like the first movie where Pete was a villain. Truly and really. I like Pete. Pete is like... I'd have Bow... If I made a Mario show, I'd have Bowser be a little Pete-ish. He's cool. I like him. He's another, like I said, another character voiced by Jim Cummings as well. I don't know. There's just so many voice, good voices that dude does. I'm trying to think what else he does. I'm, I'm like, there's probably a million things I'm not thinking about. Because he's in, I like, I just found out he was the bad guy from the first, first Halo the other day. That's a creepy bad guy. You should look up the voice lines for him. It's the master. Oh, there he is. King Dedede returned to Dreamland. One of the better DDD designs, I think. You know what the best DDD design is, though? I love the Forgotten Land one, but the best one is from Kirby's Blowout Blast. Look it up. It's literally the perfect DDD. Perfect DDD design. And it makes me mad they've never used it again. Alright, I'm gonna dip. Alright, RPG. I'll see you later. Wow, the, the fucking lab level. Is the lab level always the third level? I thought it was like the level before the boss. 
There we go. Give me this. Jim Cummings does Winnie the Pooh and he goes to the children saying, You're going to die! That's why you, RPG already, uh, you, RPG said that before you got here, Mario, so you, so you fucked up. You, you're, you, you were too late. Look at this, like, underwater city in the background. Who is living in the, I guess maybe Haltman works, Haltman workers. Uh, let me go up here first, I don't want to miss secrets. Man, this game looks so good like this. Obviously, the textures could be upped, but... That's why I'm saying, man, I'm still sad. We have... I, I really thought maybe for the 30th anniversary, we we're going to get, like, a Dream Collection 2 with Return to Dreamland Triple Deluxe and this, but... Say la vie, I suppose. Hey, if it still happens, I'll definitely do that for Return to Dreamland. They probably wouldn't give it online, though, because... I don't know, they gave 3D World online capabilities, but would it be so hard to do that for, like, Kirby Return to Dreamland? I need secrets. Secrets? Secrets? All right. These things look like fucking, uh, some of these buildings in the background look like, look like the Reggies from Pokemon. I love those stupid motherfuckers <laughs> with their, they go like, oh, Reg, 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 Reggie, Ice, Reggie. They're so good. Oh, well, there goes, uh, snow or ice, whatever. I don't know. Such good voices. Top tier. Altman, like Silva Gunner? Yeah, man. Oh, I already fucked up. No, I did not. I got it. Give me that. Bum, 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 bum. I've seen some, like, people have make mods for Forgotten Land to make DDD, like, the Star Allies DDD in that. And, like, that's the worst DDD. Star Allies DDD is my least favorite DDD. He just looks... I don't know. His hammer's tiny, his beak looks fucked up. The best DDDs are Kirby 64 DD, Forgotten Land DDD, and Blowout Bat Blast DDD. There's not gonna be anything up there. I just got a cube. A cosmic cube. Kid, kid Cosmic and the Power Stone and the 13 Stones of Power. That was a good show. Thank God that was able to finish before Netflix was like, fuck you. I gotta wipe my eye. One second. Oh. Alright. Alright. I'm good. I need... Oh, okay. This guy's probably gonna be Hammer. Yep, here we go, baby Hammer. My favorite power. Fuck you. You're dead. Get, get mirrored. I'm so glad they brought back mirror. The new hat is fine. I prefer the old hat. Remember when... That was a thing, right? Because old bomb had just the sword hat, but blue. And then... Uh, Mirror just had the beam hat, but blue and white. I really wish we they would have stuck with, like, the helmet for Hammer Kirby like it looked in the, in the GameCube uh, trailers. I think that works real well. I don't really get the bandana. It's probably some... Or the headband. It's probably some Japanese thing. I don't understand. I just realized, are these supposed to be... Like mechanized versions of the of the Orca boss from Dreamland 3. That'd be pretty sick if it was. That'd be a pretty epic reference. If you use the DDD amiibo, you get like DDD's little his crown. What is that that DDD wears? What would you guys call that? It's not I I guess it's a crown. I guess that that's what would make sense, right? Uh I need. How do I... I need some... There it is. There's the triple star. This is a, called a triple star, right? There we go. Uh, What was I talking about? I already forgot. There goes... That's my brain. There... Thinks of one thing. Whoosh. There goes the next thing. That pre prehistoric fucking... Prehistoric planet comes out on Monday. And I'm so excited, man. Oh, I gotta go fast. And I'm so excited for it. There was a they released a new clip with like triceratops in a cave. And man, it just looks so good. It looks so good. I'm so excited for it. I have to go to the dentist the day it comes out, but I mean whatever. I'll just watch I'll probably watch it with my family the, you know, it, during dinner. It'll be our or the thing we watch during the week, you know. Uh I will take this. I actually like going to the dentist. I like getting my teeth cleaned. I know my brother and my dad are like, you're a crazy person. How do you like doing this? But I like it. I like the feeling of the of the shit getting scraped off. 
Burger King crown with cloak or the Burger King himself. Yo, DDD, would you... Someone should draw DDD, but with the Burger King head. I think that'd look horrible. Someone mod that into Return to Dreamland or Forgotten Land. Where it's just the Burger King. Remember the Burger King video game? I think I watched my brother play that and I was like, what the fuck is this? What is this dumb video game where you're playing as the creepy ass Burger King? There was like, back in the day, there were, before like the, well, they don't use the Burger King anymore. You know who they should, they brought him back for like one commercial, but you know who's the best mascot that's ever, there's my man Doroch. Rat, rat, we're the rats. Uh, was fucking, the, the Noid. Yo, no, the Noid is so cool. I love the Noid. Such a good design. A funny little rabbit man that wants to destroy your pizza. It's such, it's such a crazy reason why they stopped using him, too. That some dude named Gerald Noid thought they were impersonating him, and he was, like, un, he was like crazy and unstable. So he held up a Domino's pizza, and then after that, they had to stop using the Noid because they didn't want the bad press. That was fucking crazy. We collected 15 code tubes. I was thinking, oh, man, it sucks that, like, I went through all the Pikmin games now. I'm gonna miss playing them, man, unless we get Pikmin 4 soon. Up here we go, alright. This is when I gotta use my mouse for the motion controls. Because this is how it be. Because you can't even just put, make another stick be your motion controls for whatever reason. I don't understand why you can't do that. You think that wouldn't be hard to... What's, what's, what's worse, you know, how is, what's harder about making it your control your other stick besides the mouse ow don't take my hammer i want this actually where i don't know what time i missed but cat in the hat and burger king game what's next wendy's video game in the xbox 360 maybe one day there probably is a wendy's game oh god okay more more motion control this is what killed me in oh no! well there it goes I was going to use that on the boss, too. Son of a bitch. This is what, like... This is the... The only bad thing that happened while playing Triple Deluxe was also having to do this. Because it's not... Super reliable all the time. I don't need a normal sticker. Because it's a little weird. Like I said, I don't know why I can't just use the other stick. I don't even think using gyro on a Switch controller works. Like, because now I gotta be careful for shit like this because I need this for completion. Oh, I got it. We're okay. We're good. We're all right. Son of a bitch. Don't even try it. Don't even try to make me lose my thing. I need you. There we go. Give me ESP. Yeah, the cat in the hat game I have nostalgia for, weirdly enough. Wait a minute, I fucked up. Is that permanent? That might be permanent. I need to reset. Thank God. See, this is a good thing Kirby does with, like... This is what... This this is... I love that Kirby does... Because the, oh, the orange doors, you can just go in and reset, right? That's... Thank God. Thank... You know, I don't know. Al is smart for doing that. Because the collect collection aspect of Kirby games is a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's better, definitely, in the best in... um. Re return... Triple Deluxe, and this, and then Forgotten Land. Forgotten Land has a ton of shit to fucking get. Hey, hey, Peter, what's going on? Oh, I fucking love this track. This is from Return to Dreamland. This is such a good fucking track right here. Sublime. I gotta listen to it. For, I might be quiet for a second to just hear it. This is the bitch shit. Did I miss an ice guy? This is, I don't know, I just so vividly can see, I'm, like, I think because, maybe, I don't, it's not, like, a nostalgic memory, so I don't know why it stays in my mind so hard, but, like, just, like, a cold winter's afternoon, like, sunset with a purple sky. This is what that, this song makes me think, that song makes me think, this song right now makes me think of. It's so good. It's so, so good. I think it's a nutty noon. Look it up. It's great. It's all, It's on my favorite video game playlist. For a reason. I'll take that. 
I hated the blowing mechanics in 3 land because half the time it did not work. How many blowing mechanics are in 3D land? Because I'm going to need to figure that shit out for when I stream 3D land eventually. I think what it, uh, what it, because you know what is weird about this track is even without knowing it, like it sounds, I know it is now, but isn't it crazy? Like this is a, this track is a one that survived from the Kirby canceled Kirby GameCube game. So, and like, I feel like I, you can almost kind of hear that in it. You know what I mean? You can kind of hear that weird GameCube vibe within this track. There we go. I keep forgetting I can fly a little bit. I need... Did I fuck up? Wait a minute, I got this. Oh, I could, I could probably just do it from here. No? Uh... Do I need to... There we go. There we are. I'm not looking through... Through there. Uh, what do you mean you're not, oh, oh, yeah, that's right, because you guys hate my video game music playlist. Because you guys are... You guys are haters. You know what it almost kind of sounds like, that beginning? It almost kind of sounds like, uh... Over the rainbow a little bit. But then it changes immediately. It's just that first part. There we go. Give me that cube. I need the cube. I think I think Return to Dreamland might have my favorite soundtrack in the series. This is pretty close, and I I, I would even are probably like give in much like how I say I like seven more, even though six is the better game. I'd probably say, even though I like Return to Dreamland soundtrack better, this is probably a better soundtrack. You know what I mean? There's just so many good ones. Crowned, oh, fucking Crowned is so good. I know that's probably not, that's not a controversial statement at all, but it's good, man. I love Crowned. Kirby music goes hard. Mario, I know you'd say otherwise, because you're a freak that doesn't like Kirby music for whatever reason. I think this area is fine. The next cube's going to be at, like, the end. These totally are supposed to be, like, the Orca boss from Dreamland 2 and 3 and 64. Is he in two? Yeah, he is in two. He's in all of the Dark Matter trilogy. That's kind of bizarre. There we go. Stop. Is the cube uh, just a collectible or does it have lore use or like green stars in 3D land? Uh, I mean, you get these extra levels. It's kind of for just for, you know, for completion's sake. I don't know. You, you don't really get much for 100%ing Kirby games. Like, the biggest reward you ever got for, like, completing, like, something on the hardest difficulty or getting cubes or whatever was in Star Allies when you were able to get, like, a classic Kirby skin. Otherwise, it's kind of just, you know, for fun. And it's not super hard, to. I said I was going to 100% Forgotten Land, but then there were just so many fucking Waddle Dees that I just gave up because it was like, I can't do this. Maybe one day I'll go back. Like I said, I kind of already want to replay through it. Even though I, you know, it just came out not too long ago. But I feel like that's next game that comes out that's like a big game I'm excited for and I stream it. I'm going to try to pace myself. Because I think I tried playing it so much and so fast that I didn't really get, you know, I didn't get the... I didn't really appreciate the game enough. Uh, take this. Take Parasol. Parasol's decent. Not as bad as I used to think it was. But, um... But, yes. So, like, when... For, well, it's different for Deltarune, I mean, I, I will just be trying to play, eight, like, a whole chapter in one stream. Because I can. It's only, like, seven hours. Uh, I'm a toad. Easy. Side question, wait, side question, who do you main in 3D? Oh, yeah, Toad, definitely Toad. I like to, though, I, I, when I first played through the game, I just, I was just Toad all the time. I, I'd say I'm Toad the majority of the time, but I do like to switch it up, right? Just so you're not, you know, I don't get bored. Actually, I'll take Beam. I haven't really used Beam a lot. Uh, but I try to, you know, get everyone a little bit equally. Still kind of sad that we didn't get like an extra character in 
the 3D World port, but we got Bowser's Fury, which was which was which is great. And Bowser Jr. is actually a pretty useful tool in that, in for like collecting all the medals. Ba -da -da. Here we go. All right, boss time. Boss time. Uh, I hope. Fuck. I still. I wonder what'll be the fate of like. Because we haven't had an original 2D Mario in like years. Since New Super Mario Bros. U. Oh, that's a. I'm putting him on the Robobot. Uh. Sorry, has my mouse been on the bottom screen the whole time? I apologize. Actually, I want to put. I want to put stickers on my Robobot. Yeah, get this one. Yeah, get. Yeah, stick this one. Look at that shit. Look at that cool shit. Where is the DDD? I got kind. I didn't even know. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put marks. Slap him on there. There we go. Such, such a such a good use of the collectibles. All right. Time to fight Susie. This is where we finally get into the story of the game. This is where it picks up. Like I said, this is kind of what I wish Forgotten Land did. But it kind of didn't. It kind of... Everything was at the very end. Which was fine, but... You know. Uh... I think I'll stick with Beam. There we go. Now, my dad's playing the piano. I hope you guys can't hear that through the walls. Who else would be there that you would want in the new port? Uh, Yoshi. Or someone. I don't know. I think it would have been cool to unlock Bowser Jr. in 3D World after you, like, 100% completed Bowser's Fury. That would have been neat. <laughs> I didn't expect to see a native in inhabitant all the way out here. Executive, uh, excuse my manners. Let me introduce myself. My name is Susie, executive assistant of the Haltman Works Company. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Just look at this planet. Clean air, fresh water. There's a wealth of natural resources to be found here. But all of you who live in this world take that wealth for granted. Regrettable, but at any rate... Our mechanization occupation project is now underway. And your people have unfortunately been identified as... Obstacles. Our most sincere condolences. And I'm sorry you had to come all this way. But I'm afraid... You must be destroyed! I don't know what voice to give Susie. Like, I I can't... I Listen, I'm, a, listen, I'm like a 20-year-old old man. I can't do anime girl voice. Well, in the end, I'm pretty sure their true ended with Bowser was saved. Trending with Bowser was saved. Mm -hmm. Executive ass assistant to the president of the Haltman Works Company. While her job title is secretary, she's the stakeholder of the ongoing invasion project. We learn more about her later, so I'm not going to give spoilers. It's so cool, but like, she's another... So, in Star Allies, she's also one of the playable characters. It's It was first Gooey, Rick, the Animal Buddies, and then Mark's... And then it was Adeline, Adeline and Ribbon, uh, Dark Meta Knight, and DeRoach. And then it was Magalore, Taranza, and Susie. And it was great, because you actually get to have, like, Susie's mech and shit, and it's amazing. Star Allies was, it was just so great having all those characters playable. It literally, really was, like, the Infinity War of the Kirby franchise. Stop. Especially if you power, like, combined her mech with air, and you basically get, like, a helicopter move. It's great. Ow. I feel like ro like a Robobot 2 would be work. I know, like, you know, we've passed it now in this for in this whole new area, era, but I still think the Robobot could, there's still a lot to do with the Robobot. Fuck you. Oh, there goes my power. Listen, when I do the true arena, this won't even be a problem because I'll have Archer and they'll just destroy everything. I kind of remember most of the bosses you fought in the Fighter Switch spinoff. Are you thinking? I mean, the ones you fight, you only fight like Dedede and Meta Knight in the in the in that in that game for the bosses. I also like how that game just is like, like the fact, like that scene in the credits when like Dedede and Meta Knight look longingly at each other and hold hands. It's like, okay, come on, you knew what you were doing. Listen, we already had lesbians in Kirby, and if you're telling me. Kirby truly does have two dads. I'd be very happy about this. I mean, it makes sense. They they were, I mean, 
they've no they knew each other before Kirby came around. And I, you know, I I knew that like that was a ship before that game, but I was just kind of like, ah, I mean, that's oh, fine. I mean, whatever. I don't really see it. But then after that game, I was like, wait a minute, is it real? Is it real? Because like that whole game's like they're strong bond, they're sworn partners, and it's like my my brother in Christ, if you're you're not sworn partners, you are mar your boyfriends. If you're sworn partners for 30 years, you were boyfriends. Just like how DDD calls Kurt in Forgotten Land, he still calls Kirby his destined rival, but when he couldn't find him, he was like, Where's my boy? Where's my baby boy? It's good. It's good. Not too... What do you... Don't bring up the homophobic dog meme in the chat. I kind of have problems with that, because, like, it's kind of being overused. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a big fan. At first, I was like, aha, funny, but then it became a big thing, and it's like, I don't know. Should we really have, like, homophobia be a joke? You know what I mean? I get that it's a meme, but still. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Are we talking about the same... You don't remember in the credits of... Are you thinking about Super Kirby Clash where you're fighting Parallel Nightmare? Because Fighters is the one where you're on the buddy tower. And shit. Unless you're thinking about one of the, the 3DS version of Fight. See, that's the weird thing about like the recent spinoffs is that they're just like extended versions of the 3DS like the mini games on 3DS which already had extended versions on the 3DS themselves so they're like double extended versions but yeah go it's that's the final final cutscene all right Susie get out of here I do love you though Susie but you gotta get out of here she also has that in her moveset, and it's good. Oh, anime villain laugh. There we go. I put tons of hours in Clash. Yeah, okay, you're talking about Clash. Clash is uh, the one on Switch? That one is pretty good. I like that they brought back... I know it's not Nightmare, but it's it was nice to see Nightmare again. You know what I mean? Because the anime, you know, he was in the anime. He was like a big character in the anime and all that. But And so even though he's not important in the games, he almost has like a cultural... Or like in a greater in a greater, like, span, or whatever. He had, you know, he's, he, he's kind of important to the Kirby fandom, right? You know, I like him. I like Nightmare. I get why they, well, the whole purpose of the Kirby anime, it was a hundred, it was basically a hundred episode advertisement for the Adventure remake. I, I have a love-hate relationship with the anime, honestly, because on one hand, it's, it's, it's good, I like it, but some characters, like, Tiff and Tuff are just fucking, I don't give a shit. And DDD is way too mean. Like, D like DDD isn't trying to kill anybody. He wouldn't be ordering... King DDD's a good guy. He's just kind of a grumpy jerk. With a heart of gold. Let's see if there's a secret. That's like, this looks like a Sonic Zone. This looks like a fucking Sonic Zone. I've never thought about this before. Look at the background here, though. You got, like... Fra like they're like, fracking the desert but it's like giant blenders and like it's the power lines look like forks and spaghetti pretty good man gotta love them kirby visuals bum 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 ba -da -dum. these things i hate these things so much these things appeared in first in it's kind of interesting how when this like new era of kirby started of all like these top tier platformers, they brought all. It was like amalgamation of the Dreamland and Superstar playing games. Mage was so OP. My strat was three mages, one hammer, and it was so good. The Grass Hills look more like Sand Hills moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, fucking from Forces. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I I go with the hammer in Kirby Clash. That game has the most recent Galactonite fight as well. That game is also was the game to be like. Oh, Galactonite is using Heart Spears, which is the same thing that sealed away Void Termina. So wait a minute, does that mean he was one of the four heroes that did that? Why is he such an asshole now? Or at least, why is he so, like, fight-hungry, so battle-hungry now? What happened to him? What's his deal? It, 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 after the events of the guest star mode in Star Allies, is he actually dead? Or is that, because that's not canon, is he okay? It's weird, man, I don't know what the... It's... Like... I still like Galactonite more than Mor Morphonite. Morphonite is cool. Morphonite is fine. I like. I definitely like them. They still have a kick-ass design. But I don't know. Galactonite just his theme is so much better. His design is so much. 
I don't know, it's fucking metal. I love it. I'd love to see a game with Galactonite maybe as the main antagonist. I think that'd be really interesting. The idea of... What the fuck am I doing here? Do I gotta come back and get this? What am I doing here? I don't want to leave this battery. Did I fuck up? Was I supposed to... I hope I didn't... I hope I didn't fuck up. If I get the second cube, we'll know. If I get the second cube, we'll just restart. Because that's, like, different, like... Because if I miss the last cube, I'll just, you know, finish the level, you know. But if, if I miss the first cube, might as well restart, you know what I mean? Fuck you. I still can't believe... Uh, I, I'm... You know what's a weird thing is... Oh, thanks, Spark. A real weird thing is that... I like... I still like green greens. I still like the g normal Super Mario Brothers theme. But for some reason, the Green Hill theme... Just... I can't do it anymore. It, like, it gets on my nerves. I, I don't know what it is about it. It, like... It's super annoying. I know it's probably just a me thing, but I don't know. I don't know. I can't I can't listen to like the Green Hill theme anymore. Um, without, you know, I don't know. Something about it. I need these. There we go. I need to cut down any of let me go back. I need to make sure I got every I cut it, everything down I need to cut down. I'm starting to really like the back uh the background background are you going and reminds me of paper mario me going in between the back like super paper mario or what are you talking about or do you mean like the background background i'll play super paper i need to play super paper mario eventually because i've done both paper marios yep all right this better not be like the second cube i swear to god i swear to void boom I guess I could have gone back. I don't think I need to go back and get that. I could. I think I could jump over it. Bum ba ba dum bum ba da da ba da da. It was such a smart idea to mix plasma and spark because before having them as two separate things was weird. Well, I think they were never in a game together. They might have been. I. It was a. It's so weird how in games like Adventure there was burning and then there was fire, which, but basically now those two are also merged. There we go. I will take that cube. First cube. First cube. First cube. Bomb butter. Uh, the background area you go in with the mini stars, like the pipe and paint Mario that puts you in the hills. Mm -mm -mm. I'll take stone. I like stone. Stone's all right. I definitely think it could use mer more versatility, but as far as power ups go, they're pretty good. The statues are the best part. I don't know if you. Is there like a special Mario statue like there is in Superstar in this? I don't think there's, like, a gold Mar you can get in this. But there's some good ones. Secret? Secret? No secrets. Thank God there's no... It was also a smart idea to, like, give you a limited flight in, like, multiple ways in Forgotten Land. Oh, that's a good statue. No mass DDD in this game, unfortunately. Wait a minute. But, I mean, we get a DDD fight of some sort. And some people think this... D I need to listen to it again. I haven't heard this... Uh, the clone DDD fight in this game for a hot minute. Bum, 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 bum. I like Super Paper Mario, but man, do I wish it was in, like, a better video game. You know you know what I mean? I wish that story was in a better video game. If only it was a traditional, like, RPG Paper Mario game. You know what I mean? I think that's... That would be... If I could commission, a, like, a very... Uh, a very professional, like, modder that can make mods really good. I would... My my dream mod is to, like, fuck with Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door and turn it into Super Paper Mario. You know what I mean? Not, like, make it 2D and stuff, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, mix Thousand Year Door's gameplay with Super's story. You know what I mean? I don't know how you do the multiple char playable characters. Maybe they'd be the partners, or maybe you could swap Mario and them, and then also, s and then the pixels could be the partners. 
I'm not sure. But it, I'd love that. That was the only thing that holds back. Because the best level in Super Paper Mario is the is the big tree where you're switching between Mario, Peach, and Bowser. You also get Luigi way too fucking late in that game. And it kinda and it's a little sad. Bum bum ba dum bum. Is this the first level of the desert world? I feel like this level's been going on for 500 years. Oh, I also, my chair fucking broke. I'm using, like, a lawn chair from my backyard right now. It was an old chair. It finally just went kaput on me. I need a new one. I need to go on Amazon or go into town or something. Get a nice new comfy chair. Luckily, this one isn't bad. It's got, uh... My, gr my grandma's magic is still in it, baby. My grandma's soul uh, imbues it with comfiness. I need it to come this way. Don't I need a Robobot? Did I just pass it? Did I fuck up? I definitely, like, need a Robobot here and I punch the... the cylinder. I... strong man. Here it is. Thought you'd get away from me, huh? There we go. I don't know why I tried to go in the pipe just now. Oh. I need you. I need you. There we go. Uh, I had, like, an idea for, like, Mario Party Super Stars deal. I know it would never happen, but I thought, like, man, what if there was Mario Party Super Stars DLC and it was, like, a Dreamland stage and, and you, uh, and you get Kirby and Dedede as playable characters, but that would never happen. I need to go back. Ow. Whatever, I don't need that anymore. Uh, out. I don't know. I, I would just love more crossover stuff. It makes me... It's so... Falk? It's... It's... make it. I think it saddens a lot of people that the only time we're probably ever going to see Mario and Sonic in a game, the, game together is those Olympic game games. You know what I mean? Because, like, there's such so much good material there. There's, like, 70 degrees at 9 at night with a fan in the open room by me. This is why I prefer winter. Uh, today's act was actually pretty cold, pretty, not, it wasn't cold, but it was, by, it was cool, it was weird, because lately it has been so warm, but the news did say we were gonna get, like, a cold spell. I just, it, it should be back up tomorrow, but I think it might also be really windy tomorrow, but that's just how you fucking live in Nevada, man, when you, god damn it, when you live in Nevada, you just gotta deal with the bliss, with the winds. The only thing that ever makes me worry about is we got a tree in our backyard that has... I don't think it's going to bloom its flowers because I think it froze too much. I think it uh, may not, but it blooms multiple times a year. Uh, that blooms really nice flowers. and just, It's just a nice tree. He's, he's just, we call him wonky because one a long time ago... That was only the first level. Holy shit, I felt like that took 300 years. Uh, because what used to be a big, beautiful, full tree... But one day, half of them just, like, snapped in half and fell off. And now only half of them remains. But, like, he's got a lot of... But, so... And he's, like... But not only that, but he's, like... Is he's, like, curved? I don't know. It's... I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, let me try to make the motion with my mouse. Here's my mouse. He's, like... the tr I don't know why I'm giving this tree pronouns. He's basically, like... And then it's... All his leaves are here. So we're always... We had to, like, tie a little bit what was left of the other part up and then... We're always worried that if the wind gets too much, what if he falls over? Because he's a great tree. He's really wonderful. I, 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 maybe I'll uh, show a picture of what he looks like when he's got his beautiful purple leaves. Fucking Waluigi gr purple ass flowers and then green Luigi ass leaves. It looks great. They're, I don't know. I'm, I've, I'm gushing about a tree that no one, no one probably cares about my tree I have in my backyard that I love very much. I just entered the level. I wouldn't have a key. For me. Sag, he'll, I, he'll, he's alive though. He's kicking. I kind of want to get him like, I almost kind of want to like put a big pole in the ground and tie him to it so he doesn't like wiggle as much, you know. This is a, this is a stage in Kirby Fighters actually. Mm, but yeah, uh, I, I, always, I'm a big proponent of just kind of letting, you know, not like weeds and shit, but like. I like having a lawn that's filled with a bunch of different types of plants and like I if it was up to me I just let like we have a few trees that are kind of growing where our fence is and it'll probably tear up our fence at one point 
But like, I just let that happen. Let nature rule. You know what I mean? That looks cool. I like it. Um, I'll take bomb. Why not? This will probably do more damage. Well, no. The good thing about you only ever really need Arch Patrol Arena. Otherwise, it's not like you don't really need it for gameplay. Fuck you. Okay, the the bombs do not have physics. This is fucked up, because in the normal... This is usually a... Uh, what are these called normally? Like, they're not a disgusting sludge monster. These are usually, like, little dinosaur-looking fellas that either shoot water or fire. And, it and like, the idea that this is one of them and just, like, it, like polluted, like he was... He, he's been mutated is kind of fucked up to think about. Ow. That should do you win. I will take that. Thank you very much. He just looks like a lonely... You know what? Ugh. I don't think Pokemon Moon works very well on Citro right now. But if I if I ever stream a Pokemon game, that's the Pokemon game I'm gonna fucking stream. I... I Pokemon Moon is like... I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of all Pokemon because I think they're kind of stinky. I think the Pokemon uh, company is bogus. I hate it when English teachers say... It can't be him, her. It's a dog. We say it's, it's, it's only humans get him, her. Bro, you angered me so much. I have a dog and I never do that to my... Wait, what? Say can't be him, so I'm sure it's a dog. We say it's, it's only humans get... I've never heard anyone say that shit. That is weird. That's... Whoever's told you that is, are probably the same type of people are, that would be like, Ew, Oh my god, pronouns in bio. Oh, look at this idiot. You know what I mean? The same type of those people. That is like... Out of all the things, like, bigoted or just, like, people on the right or conservative people, like, make fun of, that's the one where it's, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Literally, pronouns are pro- like, what? I don't- like, you know what I mean? That's the stupidest one of all, because it's, like, what? Like, everyone has pronouns. What do you mean? Pronoun- uh, yeah, you have pronouns in- I don't know. It's just so funny to me. It's a very old teacher, but uh, mm, that makes sense. These don't... Are these in the foreground or are these in the background? They're so small. Oh, I fucked up. I need to redo this. Fucked up. There we go. Here we go. All right. I don't want to get that one because I need this one to actually be the ground. I like how these chests are just the ones from uh, Squeak Squad, though. Squeak Squad is probably... That's another game. Kirby game I never... I guess there's more Kirby games I've never finished than I thought. I don't know, but uh, Squeak Squad is kind of like my lead. I think I didn't finish Squeak Squad not because uh, something like, you know, Amazing Mirror where I wanted four people or whatever. Why is there a big door here? Am I supposed to have a Robobot? I, mm, this is making me think I need one, so let me double check that I didn't miss a secret. Um, but um, I just don't think Squeak Squad is super great. I don't know, it's it's something about it just doesn't seem right. That and like uh what else? Maybe it's because it's not it wasn't made by Hal. I'm definitely supposed to have a Robobot. It might I feel like I'm gonna fuck up and I'm gonna lose my ability to get the third the uh the third cube. There's no way to get a Robobot. Right? Mm, I'll have to just do the level again if I missed it. Take that. Uh. Well, let's hear cross your fingers. I don't need it. Cross your fingers. I don't need a Robobot. Mm, bum, bum. Uh oh. What am I supposed to do here? Uh, let me just keep moving. Maybe the ants will, will appear to me. I'm definitely supposed to be getting rid of these. Did I need a Robobot? No, because I couldn't even get up there with the Robobot. I need Umbrella. I fucked up, I think. I Somewhere along the line, I think I was supposed to get a Robobot. And I didn't. Ugh. Let's hope and pray, huh? Let's hope and pray.
Yep, I was definitely... I, I Somewhere along the line, there was one and I missed it. God damn it. Alright, I got I gotta I gotta do this level again real quick. I'll go fast. Ruh row. Ruh row! Ruggy! Oh, you guys heard about that fucking Velma Ve Velma's getting her own spin-off show that's an adult animated show, but Scooby Doo doesn't exist in this universe, so it's just her. That's kinda fucked up. It looks fine. Art a vision art style is actually pretty nice. I like it, but I just don't know, you know, if it'll be any good. Javelin Knight. Kirby Gear. Alright. I'll try to speed run this level. It's gotta be where the poison was. It's got because you can't obtain. Where did I miss it? I'll try to finish this world also. I'll, I'll try to finish this world this stream. No promises though. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it looks alright. It doesn't look terrible. I just think it's a little weird. Nothing will beat Mystery Incorporated. Mystery Incorporated was fucking... That took Scooby-Doo and made it like a story-driven show, and it was amazing. And it also made a lot of the characters, uh, you know, fleshed them out pretty good. Look at Kirby. Look at his ball. Look at him! Look at his fucking wide, his wide stance! Good. I think my favorite... I think uh, my favorite design for Kirby is in Kirby 64. Something about how he's just kind of got like a small little face and then like a very round feet. It just looks real nice to me. That's how he looks in some of the canceled Kirby GameCube renders. All right. So from this point on, from this point on, I need to be vigilant for there's a Robobot. Because they wouldn't give me a Robobot for this. I just gotta be smart here. Fuck you. Stop. So, like, when regular show had an adult spinoff called Close Enough uh, with only small rooms to regular show. I don't know if that's... That's not really a spinoff. That's just a, no a show made by the same people. Even though, like, you could very much... Well, I mean, I don't know. Are there, like, talking animal people in that show? I haven't watched it. There we go. Alright, so where could this possibly be? It's gotta be... There's... It's gotta be in this next room. Because there's no way... There's no other room it could be in. So it has to be in this room. So there's got to be something I wasn't seeing. I go in here. Huh. Because there's no way. There's no way. Where is this? It's got to be in this room. Because there's a thing here where I would need... And like there's a rock enemy in this room. Am I going to have to look up a walkthrough? Okay, go up here. See, then there's a rock guy. There's definitely supposed to be one in here. This is stage... This is the second stage, right? I don't think so, but the... Poyo, hey, game... In game uh, games. I don't think the idea is, but Park House does exist... Oh, it does exist. Oh, okay, okay. There's gotta be a robot. Am I really gonna? I thought I, I, I'd feel ashamed if I had to look up a fucking. It can't be in another room. There's no way. There's no way it's in another room because you need poison to do this. Like this. Uh, huh. It's gotta be here. It's gotta be here can't get through here. I can't go down here. I can't go down here either. Man, I'll feel ashamed. I'm gonna have to look up a fucking walkthrough for this. I'm gonna feel ashamed. I feel ashamed that I have to do this right now. I also can't see chat right now, so give me a second. Robobot Desert 
level. Can you not right now, Rocky, please? Hey, fucking die? Alright. Desert level two. Uh no, I need Kirby Planet, Kirby Robot, Desert Level 2. Come on, man. World 4 Gigabyte Grounds. Here we go. Here we go. That's... That's not what I need. I can't believe I gotta look up a walkthrough for Kirby. I feel so ashamed. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Where is this? I'm on the level that I'm at. I swear if it's... Where is it? Please video, please video, please. You're taking up time on the, on the stream. I can't look at chat. Okay, here we go. Where is it? Yo, game, you're not gonna show me where this shit is right now? This dude didn't even get the second one. Bro, what the fuck? This video isn't even showing me jack shit. Oh my, Kirby Planet Robobot walkthrough. I'm so sorry. Give me a minute. Walk through. I can't believe I got it. I can't believe this. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe this. I gotta look, a f look up a fucking walkthrough. There's not even on IGN! I'm gonna shit. I'm sorry. Rip. I know. I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta be cringe and look up a walkthrough for Kirby. I just dropped my phone. It's gotta... There's no way it's not here. Like, where else could it possibly be? Uh... Let me just look at this four-hour fucking video, I guess. I haven't been in this... I haven't been in this level. Please. I think this is the world that has the factory theme, though. Come on. Please! Alright. I'm sorry that I gotta do this, but I feel bad. I really do, because I now I'm like... Stopping the stream. And this is the second level. Like, what? It's gonna be somewhere super easy. It's gonna be somewhere, like, right in front of my face. And I'm gonna... And I'm gonna piss. Okay, here we go. Finally. Okay, he fights the mini-boss. He goes in... Okay, here we go. He's in the room I'm in right now. Where is this shit? Where is this Robobot? Yep, and then he gets the second cube. Wait a fucking minute, where'd he- That's dumb. That's stupid. I just figured out where it is. That's dumb. I feel like an idiot. I'm sorry, I lost a viewer because of that. I lost a viewer because I had to look up a walkthrough for baby game. Let me double check. I'm still recording and everything. I am. I'm good. I lost a viewer because I because I didn't know what to do in baby game. I'm sorry. I'm not a gamer. Now you know background character. Now you know I'm not a gamer. It's been a facade. So it's fucking... It's up here. To be fair, that's pretty well hidden. You wouldn't think to go there. You think, oh, this is where the cube is. This is where it is. I'll take that. There we go. No judgments. Baby gamer can't even play baby game without getting lost. There we go. I kind of wanted to actually get his abilities, Kirby. There we go. This is what I need to dispel the poison. And I will take that. 
Ooh, rare sticker. That's the good shit. I need this. Does this have it? Yeah, this does have other moves. And besides just flying. Alright, here we go. Finally. I'm gaming. Now we're gaming. Gaming. This thing looks like a fucking volleyball. Now I've just lost track of everything. Now I've like totally lost my train of thought of like what I was talking about. I was talking about the Velma show. I was on such a good roll, like I was. I had no like no dead air. I had I constantly had things to talk about. Come on, there we go. But yeah, uh, I'm still waiting. I'm still hope we get a direct soon, man. I need it because I have nothing going on in my life. I need. I need to know. I need to watch commercials for video games that I will pay sixty dollars for. Even if they're a game, I don't really think they just like the fucking Mario Strikers game. It really seems like... God damn it. It really seems like they're just going to keep doing this. Here's the base roster, and then you'll get updates with every sports game they're making right now. And I'm not super into it. Mario Party and Mario Kart are like the only good spinoffs now. They've destroyed the integrity of the sports spinoffs. Got collected 50 unique stickers. And I don't know. It's a little sad. I think Mario, I think Mario Tennis Aces is still good, but... Dracia, oh! Hmm. So, fun fact about Dracia. Dracia was the first character the current Kirby director ever made. You should, you should look up the Kirby director, the, uh, the current Kirby director's art. He draws, like, fucking horrific eldritch abominations, and it's like, they're horrifying to look at. Here we go. Here's this is the factory, right? You hear this? Ba bum. Da 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 bum bum ba da. This is fucking great. A, what a perfect fit for this game, honestly. So I'm glad they did it. Bum bum bum. Ba 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 da da. Bum bum ba bum. I still think I like the 64 version better. It's just, I feel, I'm weird sometimes with that, like. Sometimes I like 8-bit versions of some songs better because, I don't know, the eight, it packs more of a punch. I like music that like is like packs a crunchy punch, if that makes sense. I'll take ice. I bet 100%ing, I bet 100% the next direct will be filmed with clown emoji. Wear Silk Song, no Silk Song. I've I've never played Hollow Knight, though I know you know the people you know Hollow Knight enjoyers have been waiting for that for like three years now, right? I uh I just want. I don't know what I'd want. I mean, I kind of got all the games I could want on Switch right now. You know what I mean? At this, I, I don't really know what I want at this point. I guess a 3D Donkey Kong game, but I got 3D Kirby. I'm pretty satiated. You know what I mean? I guess uh, maybe a 3D Yoshi? Uh, wait, how am I supposed to get back there? That's a permanent star, so I don't want that. I need to go back. Uh, there's no new big game coming, so well, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I, but no, what I'm talking about is, I don't even know what I'd want. Like, I don't even know what I really would be like hyped about right now. Uh... Did I already fuck this up? Was I supposed to? Did I somehow already... Did I already f fuck this level up somehow? One second, let me just redo- let me just redo the stage. I mean, I'm right at the beginning, so it's not like it's a big deal. Let me just- let me just- I have a feeling. I'm at the beginning of the stage, so it's not that big. Like, yeah, but that's- yeah, there is no big game comes. that's like... And the Breath of the Wild 2 is being delayed to 2022, so it's like... I don't know. I mean, 2023, sorry. Like, the only thing I, I think that would genuinely make me happy is a Pikmin 4. Because that's a thing where, like... You know, that you know, we haven't had one in, like, 10 years at this point now. No secrets. And I don't know. This background looks a little boring. 
I think it's trying to be reminiscent of like the factory stage boss or something. I need a way to I need a, to figure out how to get into the background. Nope. There's got to be something I'm not seeing. A way to get in the background right now. Uh, no. No. Really? All right, maybe I didn't need to worry about it then. All right. All right. I I don't think there is a way back there right now. So, hopefully, I'll be fine. Or, there is a way somewhere here, and I just didn't see it because I'm stupid, which is entirely possible. Wait a minute. Can I, like, fly? Hmm, I feel like I'm missing something here. I'll take you. I need to eat the flan. Bye, flan to see flan. That's like a... That episode of Courage is just like a force-feeding episode. It's kind of weird. No. Nothing. I gotta just... You gotta be thorough, man. I don't want to miss any cubes. Yeah, they're cra... Uh, they're the Crazy Mario game, but like a... Mm -hmm -hmm. It's so sad we didn't get an Odyssey 2, man. I really thought that was a shoe in Wait, maybe there's a way up here. Uh... There's got to be some way I can... Unless I'm supposed to have, like, a... I didn't see anything. Let's just hope this isn't a cube, huh? Let's just hope this isn't a cube. Unless I'm supposed to... It doesn't look like there's even a way in there. Oh, you know, wait, I think I, I think I see what it wants. Uh, huh. No? I don't know, then. Hopefully that isn't a cube. Let's hope that's not a cube. All the games I, uh, I'd be hyped for, I have so many memes are not existing hype right now. It's gone so low. Uh, it's in the core about to go through Earth. What? Maybe I'm just dumb and my brain can't... Yeah, I need... Oh, I would have needed this thing. Let's just hope that wasn't a cube. This is probably be the cube. There we go. Yeah, this is the first cube. There we go. Energy drink. I'll take that. Because I do actually need it right now. Let me read that again. Maybe my brain is just bad and I fucked up. All the games I'd be hyped for right now have so many memes that they're not existing. It has gone so low. It goes right about to the... Oh, okay. It's so low. Okay, I get it now. All right. Sorry, my brain. Listen, I got to read things like two times to understand. Ooh, ninja. Now I'll take a ninja. I'm glad they brought back uh, the classic ninja enemy in Star Allies. The bio sparks instead of those dudes. I'll stick with ninja. Who am I fighting? Dubor? Yep. Fuck you, Dubor. How about some of this, huh? Yeah, that's right. Fuck you. I always thought Meta Knight's uh, samurai look in, like, the ninja in the samurai minigame in Superstar looked really good. I want to make, draw a redesign, like, like, taking notes from that. Though I think Meta Knight, obviously, because of the anime, because of his Spanish voice, but even, like, the Meta Knight's new kind of theme, which is, like, the, Reve the, the Meta Revenge of Meta Knight's credits music, is, like, kind of got, like, a Spanish Zorro vibe to it. And I think that's a good, like, a good theme for, for Meta Knight, that kind of, like, lone swordsman, loner, uh, Desperado. Well, no, Desperado's a bad guy, isn't it? Delay kind of messed me up for a bit, simplifying what I said. Ah, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I just got bad brain. Oh, I got to get the, this battery drains. Okay. We're good. 
So many good ideas in this. So many good ideas in this. And then the post... What's the best thing about Kirby games is also the post game. Is like the true arenas and like the extra modes. Uh, especially in like the 2D games. Because usually you get to play as a different character for the extra modes. And it's great. In this you get to play as my main man, Meta Knight. I don't think I... How, I don't know how much of a delay I have. I thought I had like... It might be just a... I thought I set it to zero, but maybe it is still 30 seconds. I doubt it's 30 seconds. Alright. I gotta be careful with this. Is that battery, battery also draining? No, it's not. There we go. Gotta get these fucking puzzles. Fucking puzzles. This place even has like big squeaky hammers like the factory in Kirby 64 does. There we go. That's it. That's gaming right there. G-A-Y-M-A-N-G. Hashtag gaming. Which one is this going to be in? Got it. I got it. All four three cubes collected. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And I get the sticker. Of the special character and allies, I'd always go Bandana Waddle D, and I thought it was so cool I could play as Marks and King D to D. And I know, man, it's great. That's what's so great about Star Allies is all those playable characters. So the only thing is, is that those Star Allies is so simple. So, like, it's fun, but then the level designs are just not super great. See, that's another thing where, like, I can't wait till we get to that point in modding. Like, you know, where we can get to the point where we can mod Switch games. Though I've seen some pretty invested mods for switch switch games even now but uh kirby kirby tilt and tumble but uh imagine someone remaking like all of return to dreamland in star allies and then you could actually have like meta knight and king ddd and bandanity walk around you way too easy yeah heroes in another dimension is a good d difficulty level heroes in another dimension was re really was needed that wasn't even the factory level But yeah, that's, that's, that's the only, man, these, you know, on Citro, these, these dishes look so good, man. The, te the textures on this don't look so bad either, actually. These textures definitely look better than they did in uh, Triple Deluxe. Maybe that could also just be Citra. Maybe it's gotten better. Let me take a sip of my water real quick. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. Full death. It's impossible to die in that game. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I really needed here the Heroes in Another Dimension mode. That You know what's also great about that is because it gives you the chance to play as all the characters without, you know... You know, because that's one thing about the, the, the guest star mode. Oh, this is the level! You get to fight fucking Kabula from D Kirby's Dream Land 1! In this level. It's a good callback. Look at this goddamn cube. I gotta wonder if the Haltzman Works Company was one of the companies that de kind of deviated off from whatever the Forgotten Land civilization was. Even though I'm pretty confident that that was human. Because there's... I'm still... Listen. I'm still firmly in the camp. People say that, oh, the Forgotten Land is in another... Is a separate dimension. But I don't know, man. Because the game explicitly says that it's planetary warp technology and, like, uh, spatial teleportation abilities and shit. The, that Fecto Forgo had. So I don't know about that. I just gotta take that? Can I... Oh, I can dodge. I didn't think about that. I didn't know that that was a mechanic I could do in this. I need that. I'll just take the hit. I'd rather take the hit. Bum -ba -da -da. There's the first cube. Big, cu big Cuphead vibes. This did it before Cuphead. Uh, down, up, middle. Down, up, middle. Alright, someone just DM- Who just fucking messaged me on Discord? Or is this like an at someone- Yeah, that's an at someone started streaming thing. Alright. Let me make sure everything's still going good on OBS real quick. Yep, recording good, everything's good. Order's good. 
All right. Bronto Burt. Fucking Bronto Burt. Okay, so it was down. It was bottom. And then it was top. And then it was the middle. Why couldn't they just give me shapes, man? I know how to do shapes. Uh. Fuck, I took too long. I was debating and I just got crushed. I didn't know what to do. It was probably up, but I, I was trying to, like, the map. Let me look at the map again. Bottom, up, middle. Just die. I just gotta, I just gotta do bot. Okay, there's, okay. Bottom, up, middle. Bottom, up, middle. I thought, I didn't know if the second one had, like, three passageways and I had to go up, up, or what. That's, that fucking sound bite from Kirby's Avalanche that just goes, Bronto Burt! is so funny to me. I gotta save that and just have that on stream whenever. Look at them, they're like little Koopa Clown car looking ass things. I love the Koopa Clown car. Some people don't like it. I like the Koopa Clown car. I think it's good. I don't know how I feel about it becoming Bowser Jr.'s thing, but whatever. I like to see Bowser use it more often. I think that's one of the best 2D Mario boss fights. Is the Super Mario World Final fight. I feel like Lost World could have had a cool Pikmin secret. Like, Lost World could have had a good, cool Pikmin secret like Red Pikmin carrying a soda can in one of the huge buildings because, like, Pikmin lore based on future human... Oh! Oh, you mean in... Do you mean... Oh, the Forgotten Land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kirby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get that. I mean, that, I don't know. That might fuck up the universes, though. That would be... It would have been interesting, though. I guess what's stopping... What's stopping, like, from, for the, you know, those, like, the Forgotten Land being where P PNF 404. Because we never do see, because here's the thing. We never see the surface of the planet in Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Like, even in the post-game nothing, you never see the surface of the planet. Which is pretty odd for a game that usually does show you space and show you the planets. You know what I mean? So, it's a little weird that they didn't show it. I think it's... I think it's because it is supposed to be Earth, aka Shiver Star from Kirby 64 after its Ice Age. I just don't think there's enough evidence to like... Yes, I understand that usually the star portals in Kirby do lead to a separate dimension. But there's star portals in Kirby 64 and those just are... To another planet, not another like dimension. Like Ripple Star is... I don't know. I'm just vehement on this because I've seen people say this but then like the game literally says otherwise. I think my favorite of these type of segments in a Kirby game still is the in Return to Dreamland when you're like going through another dimension riding a fucking dragon. You know, we talk about in Smash Brothers a lot. There we go, I almost missed that. I we talk a lot in Smash Brothers about like some characters that are badly represented. But like and usually that's like Donkey Kong and Bowser and shit. But remember how in Smash Brothers Brawl in the Subspace Emissary, Olimar is portrayed as like a shitty coward. Meanwhile, like he's the total opposite. He's like a brave explorer that cares about his pick about the Pikmin. It's kind of fucked up, man. It's kind of fucked up. Why'd you make him a weird coward, like cowering behind the Pikmin? He's like a scientist. He's a fucking cool guy. I still think Bowser gets it probably the worst. Because he's, but like, in Smash Brothers, he's just like a feral beast, but then in, in like, but then there's Bowser Jr. who's a cartoon. I've said this many times. There we go. And then here's the, and then here's the, the reveal. It's Kabula! The flying internal weapon has been revealed. Who would have thought that Kabula was acting as the power core for the research facility? Take out this flying security machine. And, it's, and then it plays a dream, the, a remix of the Dreamland 1 boss fight theme. Which is great. I, I never understood if Kabula was supposed to be alive or not. Because in the Dreamland 1, she doesn't even have a face. She's just like a weird blimp with a symbol on it. But then in Superstar Ultra, they gave her this redesign with a face. And I, I've never been... It's kind of the same thing with Bullet Bills in Mario. Because, like, the bombs are alive, but are Bullet Bills? So it's, like, in... I don't know. In this, the, she's definitely autonomous. If I made a... I don't know. It's, it's a little... I'd, 
if I made a Kirby show, I think I'd try to make her, like, subtly alive. I wonder what the Kirby wiki has to The Kirby wiki is fucked up, man, because they just say some blatantly wrong shit. Or, like, shit that's really confusing. Like, they don't have 0-2 in the Dark Matter category. They just have it. We don't know the relation to... 0-2's relation to original 0 or Dark Matter is unknown. And it's dumb. This is one of the few bosses that doesn't have an EX form. It's just a harder version of the fight in the true arena. Balloons. Do kind of remind me of balloons. I always see those memes on how Olimar mains don't exist in Smash Bros. And I'm just standing here maining Olimar, Villager, King Dedede, and Rosalina. I remember before Smash Ultimate was revealed to have everyone coming back. I thought Rosalina was one of the characters they were, that was like, Oh yeah, they're going to be gone. They're leaving. They're not going to... Because I don't know. I just... Eh. Rosalina, I like Rosalina, but I don't know, she's, in Smash, she's just a bit boring. I don't know. One day, Waluigi will get his day. Mark my fucking worms. My favorite guy will be in Smash Brothers. One day. One day. Please don't tell me I, I all I have to do is the EX level, and then the boss. Because I'm a little tired. Pitch. My man. Com Manga Kirby. Manga Kirby. The Star Rod. Isn't that so funny how Paper Mario just took the Star Rod from Kirby? Like that, it's just a Kirby thing and it was just in Paper Mario. Kind of funny. Oh my god. I don't know if I want to keep going. Uh, uh, How long have we been going for? Let me look. An hour 41? Mm, I think I'm gonna end it here. I think I'm gonna end it here if that's okay with you with you with you guys. Let me do let me, let me do a save state real quick though. Can never be too careful, you know what I mean? There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright. Sorry that I'm not I I didn't finish the world today, but this is kinda where I you know we we're going an hour forty. I, all together, I've been streaming for like two hours. I don't really want to go which go much, much longer. I'm alright. Okay, cool. Um, I might be back tomorrow. Like I said, it always depends on what I have to talk about. If I like watch a movie or something, maybe I'll have something to talk about. You know what I mean? If, they, if anything happens in the news. But uh, yes, thank you for coming for Anton Blast and Kirby today. I'll try to get them uploaded soon. Uh, until then. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.